Setting up an Adobe Acrobat PDF preset for commercial offset printing in InDesign is easy. I'll show you the settings for commercial offset printing that we use at Universal Printing. You can set up a PDF preset at any time, with or without a document open. So let's just go ahead and go into InDesign and go to File, Adobe PDF Presets, and Define. Press quality is already in there, but I like a few tweaks to make sure that I get the best quality, so let's go ahead and select New. Let's go ahead and begin by giving the preset a name. Let's call this Universal Printing. Oops, typo. Printing. And we're not using any of the PDFX compliant standards. Um, I don't know a lot of printers who are. Some do require it. Um, compatibility, we're going to be 8.9 PDF 1.7 for full flattening effects. Our rips handle flattening on the fly, meaning drop shadows, transparencies, uh, screen tints, various things like that. Um, so just select 8.9. It'll make a smaller file than having to pre-flatten the file. As far as your pages, if you need to set up all pages or a specific one or spreads, that's up to you. For options and include, these have to deal more with um, interactive media. So you don't need to really worry about this. You only need to worry about non-printing objects if you've hidden something and you want them to print. Under compression, you will find color images, bicubic sampling, down sampling to 300 by 450 is generally a default. Automatic JPEG and maximum quality are fine. If you have very fine details such as wisps of hair, go ahead and set your down sampling to 350 for images above 525 and change your compression to zip. It's going to make a larger file, but for general offset printing where there's not a lot of fine details, the 300 is fine with a JPEG image quality setting of maximum. Same goes for the grayscale images, automatic and JPEG. If you have fine details, again, go up a little bit and change to zip compression. Monochrome images are those images where there's basically one color, line art drawings, maps, blueprints, these settings are generally fine. Go ahead and make sure compressed text and line art is checked so that you get a smaller PDF. And if you crop image data to frames, anything that hangs over the pasteboard or outside of a container gets cropped off and it makes a smaller PDF. Under marks and bleeds, go ahead and include the crop marks. The offset can be a quarter of an inch. I work in points and picas, so Oops, let's make that a quarter of an inch, put the inch mark in, which is one pica six. And for bleed settings, uh, we require a minimum of a quarter of an inch. In the output settings, color conversion is no color conversion at all. Leave that off with no destination intent. And profile inclusion policy is do not include any color profiles that may have been embedded in things like Illustrator or Photoshop. The profiles are generally intended for screen matching only and are generally disregarded when the file actually gets ripped and sent to plates. So I recommend not including the profiles. We're not using PDFX and you do not need to simulate overprint. That will be handled in Acrobat 8-9 PDF 1.7 automatically on the fly. In the advanced settings, uh, subset fonts when percent of characters use is less than 1%. This way if we need to make any last minute changes in Acrobat using pit stop, most of the font will be embedded. We do not use any OPI since we're really not a large conglomerate of newspapers who need to have one file on a particular server and share that file among other um, desktop users. And you'll see that transparency and flattener has been grayed out because it is automatic in Acrobat 8.9. Finally, you can go into the summary panel and review all of your options. Any warnings may show up here later. Go ahead and choose OK. And you'll see in your PDF preset list that universal printing is shown up. When you are working on a document, let's just open a dummy document here and you go to uh, Adobe Pre PDF presets and export when you're getting ready to send your file to us just choose universal printing name your file save it wherever you want and send it along